North Sentinel Island is weird. Hi. Uh, whoop. Hello again. Well, hang on. What's up? Welcome to <laughs> Isn't That Weird? New show, starting to do, it's quarantine times, trying to keep you engaged. And maybe even learn a little bit, because let's be honest, you're not necessarily learning a whole lot from my Nailed It videos, because most of that is just me screwing up and telling you what not to do. So I guess you are learning. Educational in that way, too. But this, this is going to be basically things that I enjoy or found out that are weird. Isn't that weird? Name of the show and what it's about. So what did I say? North Sentinel Island. Have you ever heard of it? Probably not unless you heard about it in a news article a few years ago uh, about some idiot who kept trying to go there. I'll explain that in just a little bit. Basically, North Sentinel Island is located a thousand miles from buttfuck nowhere. More specifically, it's part of a group of islands uh, in the Bay of Bengal, which I assume is like just swimming with tigers. Like just a bay. Imagine like one of those bays that's full of stingrays, but it's just tigers. That's the Bay of Bengal, I think. Don't check that. Uh, it is 36 kilometers west of South Andaman Island, uh, which is only a hundred thousand miles uh, from buttfuck nowhere. So we're getting kind of closer. We're getting kind of closer. It's middle of the ocean between uh, basically India and Thailand. So it's just this little blip on the map. A lot of people don't even know about it. And there's kind of a good reason for that. Because the North Sentinelese people, don't know if that's what they're called, but they're kind of, uh, they're kind of aggressive to outsiders. Now, you'd think that like it's literally the only thing in the middle of the ocean. No, there is a South Sentinel Island. They're cool, they're chill. There's people, there are places, there's things. Uh, it's the North that's the issue. And isn't that always the case? I'm looking at you, Koreas. So to go back a little ways, people have this urge to explore, especially back in the day. There was no video games. What were you gonna do? Die of some sort of common disease? Uh, drink and then die of some sort of common disease or go exploring and if you got to go exploring well a bunch of rich people gave you a bunch of money uh, you got to get horrible diseases and you got to go on a boat sounds fun doesn't it um, but basically anytime somebody's trying to explore and they find something new they always try to impose their way of life on people especially back in the day and I mean this still happens right like you've got all sorts of religious groups always trying to impose their beliefs on other people and just stop because otherwise this type of shit happens uh, the North Sentinelese people really really don't care for your way of life they uh, they've got a plan I don't think it's a good plan but they're going to do what they're going to do. Uh, they've been contacted basically a handful of times with varying results. Usually it ends up in somebody dying. No, the, the, yeah, that's pretty, pretty much actually the only constant, is that somebody dies. Either from the island folk or the people who came to bother the island folk. Uh, hey guys, uh, I know we're new to the island, but uh, we're just going to kind of come take some of you back, uh, impose our lives upon you. Cool? Okay then. They don't even have an actual number of how many people are on this island. It's not a very big island, but there's somewhere between one dude sitting in the bush and like 400 people, depending on which census you believe or what you think is actually there. I'm going to make an educated guess that there's like 20 to 30 people on this island. What's that based off of? Absolutely nothing. Just the fact that I'm wearing a captain's hat, so I must know, right? <laughs> uh, the other weird thing is, though, that they don't seem to have any sort of agriculture. They never seem to have any fires. So whatever they're eating, it's raw. Sushi, I guess. <laughs> Maybe they're just big fans of sushi. 
But yeah, it's like there's no infrastructure at all. Almost every other tribe or group of people that's ever been contacted or seen or whatever, they've progressed. There's like the Stone Age, there's the Iron Age, all that kind of crap in the bigger scheme. But basically, you even see animals progressing from digging in the dirt to using tools like sticks and rocks and stuff to get their food or whatever. Now, obviously, these people have fashioned bow and arrows and uh, knives and things like that. But no agriculture whatsoever. So they're just living off of the land, which is kind of cool. <laughs> um, and seriously, they basically try and kill you anytime you come to the island. They have no interest in what anybody says. Anytime they try to get on the island, somebody tries to get on the island with them, it's an arrow through the face hole. Sometimes when they are faced with intruders, uh, an orgy breaks out with the North Sentinelese people. That's a weird one. Don't really know the point of that. But I'm intrigued. The countries that keep trying to essentially invade the island and have their sort of way of life pushed upon it, they've all kind of stepped back now and gone, you know what? Fuck you guys. <laughs> you can have your island. Uh, they just went ahead and said basically no one can go to this island. Leave these people alone. Which I think is kind of cool. Like obviously these people don't want to be integrated into anybody else's life and they've had pretty bad run-ins some of the early explorers actually took like a bunch of them off the island and then like the parents died and then they put the kids back on the island which is kind of a dick move i think but yeah basically everybody said fuck you and the north Sentinelese said no fuck you so in the end it's this crazy microcosm of a world that honestly most people probably assume doesn't exist anymore because everything's so westernized and everything like that this is a group of people who've never gone past like bow and arrows not even really gotten to the fire stage of life um they've never even heard of a microwave oven and that's pretty cool it's pretty cool to have something like that that still exists in this day and age the only downside is that they'll never get to watch tiger king and isn't that weird? <laughs>